Hello and welcome to something new. Today we are not playing any game, but I've got something I wanted to talk to you about. Today, thanks to Dave Martinez8136, who asked whether I'm gonna cover some cloud gaming services, I was reached out to by Boosteroid team. And I decided, okay, let's cover it. So, starting from the bottom, what is Boosteroid? What is cloud gaming? It works like this you launch your browser, and right now it's Opera with some issues, Google Chrome works just fine. And Mozilla Firefox is not supported. So this, those three I believe are the biggest on the Windows. So those I'm gonna cover. Uh, you launch your browser. You go to the Boosteroid uh, site. And what you see? This. Ta-da! No more hardware updates. No more downloads. Play your favorite games in browser. Okay. Sounds nice, right? You get all those games. All those pretty available games. Oh. There you go. All those games available right now on the booster rate. Right? Some you have to have on one of you, in your own libraries on Steam. Uh, Epic Games stores, let's see what else. Battle.net, Gaijin, Origin, Riot Games, Rockstar Games, and Wargaming.net. All those are free. Those you can see right here. I'm not gonna go into this. Oh, actually, I would like to play this thing too. Oh, huh. I can play that. And how it works is you Click on one of the games, let's like check out maybe Poppy Playtime. You hit play and the game loads in your browser. Sounds perfect, right? Well, there goes one thing. You need a stable internet connection. As you can see, I am playing it on cable connection and it is meh. I always had problems with latency it's not only with boosteroid i have always had this problem so i don't care about that really in from what i experience this much gives me around half of a second of input lag it's not much i'm used to that so it's okay uh, here you have some connection improvement tips. What else? What else? What else? There is also desktop app for this site. The service, however you want to call it. You can use it on Windows, Linux, Android and Android TV. So, according to Boosteroid, for the perfect connection, you need either Ethernet or Wi-Fi of 5 GHz. For full HD and 60 FPS, you need my minimum of 15 uh, megabits per second. And ping to boost your server should be below 20 milliseconds. Whenever you want to use Booster to check a game for demo, for free to play, you need to have brought subscription it costs 749 euros monthly is it a lot i don't know but i was given some free time to look into this to record the video to maybe stream some games if there is anything else you want to know we will experience it through games <laughs> Login onto Amsterdam. Of course, I'm gonna get my high level character to play because this way we're gonna see how clunky this game is. It always was. 
I'm sorry. I love this game. It looks... It looks big, okay? It looks strange. Everything's bigger than what I'm used to. Maybe partially because I... Oh no, it's something is weird. Something is very weird. Uh, that's why. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna put everything on ultra, on high. high. I said high. Bloom on low because I hate it. Depth of field enabled. Because that's whatever that is. And safe. Mm -hmm. I think it still feels a little bit weird. I don't have my... Oh, there are my options. So you can see how it works. I can feel a little bit of lag. Uh, oh, you don't have any maps. I know this is not what you used to. This is not what I'm used to, to be honest. Maybe the first people who see my character in Path of Exile. Uh, something, yeah, it's my big. And please don't, don't, let's not talk about my mess. My mess everywhere, okay? I know, I know I'm messy. Oops. I, I started streaming by accident. Um, hey. And actual latency issues were why I decided to start playing with the monster. So, there's that. Oh, but I see an issue. Let's see. Yep, there is an issue. My filters doesn't work. Although I don't see as much... I don't see any latency. Well, I don't see as many issues with latency as I used to, because normally... Who plays Path of Exile knows that this game is always riddled with issues, with latency. You get lags for no reason, just because you play it. And this is just how it is. Okay, let's find the boss. Oh, and it started. Okay, something, some things just never change. And this is precisely why I love this game. Um, who knows, maybe they fix it for if second game. Just looking careful. Oh. I think we found it, yep. So let's get rid of it quickly. Say this game works a little bit better than what it, how it usually does. Yeah, we never hit 60 FPS, but I don't have as many issues with flags as I used to normally. So all in all, I, I can say that this experience is a success. So that was PC, that was on cable internet. What next is left to check is on my laptop with Wi-Fi. But this I'll try next time, hopefully with the game you choose. Please. Tell me what else you would like to see. Hopefully this will be the game I own. 
if not then I see some free trials in here I can always try the free games oh yeah that's boosteroid part one hopefully more of them to come hopefully we'll be able to stream it I still have to check out how it works out with streaming Oh right! I wanted to tell you that I I'm going to schedule weekly streams from now on, uh, starting next Monday, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central European time. And you, well, oh, welcome to that. Oh, and one more thing: if you are interested in Boosteroid then in the description of this very video and every video related to Boosteroid will be my link to Boosteroid. So please, if you are still interested, check it out. Next time I will, I'm gonna try the Game Pass one because I really wanted to see a Plague Tale Requiem play on it. Because if any of you saw my videos on it, it was horrible, it was a mess because my computer could not handle it properly. So hopefully it will be better like that. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!